diversity. It's a main topic in the mouths of many different content creators here on YouTube. And I am from a diverse area. In my area, there has always been a mixture of cultures and races from all over the world. Black, white, Indian, Asian, Irish and more all mix in my area. And this is also the same in terms of faiths and religions. It is all mixed in my area and always has been. Now I'm going to provide you with some information on how this is in this area because what I've seen online is that people don't really understand what it means or what it's like to be in a diverse area where you have a mixture of cultures, races, genders, sexuality, religions and faiths and beliefs all mixed into one area. I'm going to give you some information. So for example, in our main supermarkets in these areas in the UK, in the first and second cities, or second city, you will find a world food aisle. The world food aisle is where you will be able to find specific spices and ingredients that are not grown here in the UK and are more used by international either immigrants or people that come to the country or are currently in the country. This could be to cook a Caribbean meal, an African meal, an Indian meal, a Chinese meal and more. There are specific ingredients that are not grown here in the UK and will be very exotic to somebody who does not consume those types of foods. The reason why I say consume these types of foods because you're not forced to eat these meals. So one of the things that I've seen online is there are a lot of fears and tensions surrounding race uh, and different cultures in terms of when you're uh, being more diversified in your areas and in your media. There is a lot of fear and tension there and the fear and tension comes from something else and another issue in a specific industry but this is not the same thing when you're mixing different cultures into one specific area. We are not a gated community as well. That's something that I've always noticed from people from outside of the UK who are not from mixed areas, something that they say. They normally say, oh, these areas are gated and you can't go and there's like certain laws. That is not the case at all. Never has been, never will be as far as I can see. It's never been that way. It's been mixed in these areas for a very very long time. This isn't just something that's new to this era. It's been going on for a very, very long time. You can go back in the history of the UK to see that the areas have always been mixed. For example, London is a very mixed city. Now, I'm not from London, but I'm also not sharing with you where I'm from at this current moment in time because there are things that I want to show you a lot more. But if you would like to see a lot more, press that thumbs up button because I thought I'd give you some context as to what it's like to live in a diverse area. Now, in terms of religion or buildings and so on, so forth, you have mosques, you have churches, you have um, synagogues, not synagogues, um, more like uh, Sikh uh, temples and, and, and different things of different religions and faiths but they uh, have always been a part of these areas and it's never been an issue right so a lot of the things that I hear online again is that you know uh, there are fears surrounding like these buildings being built built and so forth synagogues aren't a thing that I've seen a lot of and when I do see the rare synagogue it's normally like just a regular building with just a few different symbolism on it right so in terms of like those types of faiths you don't really see a lot of big buildings in terms of that religion I just thought I'd step in there and just correct myself on what I was saying there because there are synagogues they're just not uh, a huge displayed building it's not like a very large building you can't you know fly over to see a synagogue in the area so i just thought i'd just mention that as well so yes there are a mixture of faith religions beliefs and genders and sexuality here in the uk especially in the areas from where i'm from always has been 
isn't an issue, but I thought I'd provide more information. If you're not from a mixed area, maybe you've never met a black person before or an Indian person before, you 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 might want to watch this video to get more context. I can provide even more context. So if you'd like some, then give me a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know like what you thought of this video. Is it providing you with a different perspective on what it's like to be in from a diverse area? What it's what is it like from where you're from? You know, you're not going to get uh, penalised for saying you've never met a black person before because we can tell. Because when you're talking online and you say specific things, I can see that you've only ever experienced a black person from the form of media and movies and TV. You've never experienced or seen a black person in real life. And I can see that from the way you're communicating to me. Because guess what? I'm a black man. <laughs> I can see the difference. So anyway, thank you for watching this one. I thought I'd give you some more context as to what it's like to be from a diverse area. Thank you for watching.